Oh, not even a cow plate wants to be around your rose. Not again! What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Kelsey, and I love colorful things. So we're playing the Not So Very Challenge. But before we get started, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this series. I've had so much fun doing it. I think it's been over a year now doing this series with you guys, and I just can't. I'm pinching myself. I can't believe I get to do this, and I get to hang out with all of you guys. And thank you for supporting me after my departure from BuzzFeed. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So so oh, you guys might be wondering, why are we in Strangerville? And you have an excellent question there. For the last couple of episodes, some of you guys have been a little bored of the apartment, thought it was time to move. And I think you're right. We saved up enough money. My head canon is that he's saving up money for the girls so that when they want to move out, they can have a home of their own. But I think what happened is that we've been seeing that Fox is not into his job anymore as a crime boss. He's been over it for like one or two episodes now. And he's just sad every time he goes, to work. So I've decided that he's going to leave. He picked the girls up, he sold everything, and he moved out of town to the most isolated place he could think of, Strangerville, where they are now living in hiding. And he's gonna quit and get a new job as an international smuggler because of course he's already has a life of crime. He probably has a lot of connections. So he's gonna use his connections to pull a few strings and start being an intergalactic smuggler. And the girls are just along for the ride. I feel like they're not allowed to invite anyone over to the house or tell anyone where they are but they're still going to be going to school as if nothing changed. So that's essentially what happened. You haven't missed anything. I've just moved the family. So nothing has changed. I just moved the family into the new house and I'm gonna show you off the new house that I built. If you're interested in seeing how I built this, you can check it out on my second channel, youtube.com slash more Kelsey and PGK. I feel like a lot of people at first were like an underground bunker for these girls. Absolutely not. Like they were very against it, but I think we came up with a really cute place and I really like this like unique plot. I've actually never never had my sims live in an underground bunker. And there's a couple different ones in the game. So I'm kind of excited. The Not So Berry Challenge is all about trying new things or playing parts of the game you normally don't play with. So I think this will be perfect because I've never played with like an underground lot like this. So this is the lot. This is the dilapidated plane that we're gonna be living underneath. Let's check it out. So in order to go in, you gotta go through this door here. And then we've got the stairs down. And if we head down these stairs, we kind of land in the new living room. We kept the couch, we added a little chair. We got to expand a little bit. We got our TV mounted on the wall. Then we've got our brand new kitchen and our dining area. Of course, some flowers brought in by Rose to try to liven up the place. And then over here we have Fox's bedroom. Of course, he has some of the girls' art on the walls, his diploma and everything. And then he's got this really cool box art piece. I know it's technically like a wolf, but it looks kind of like a fox too. This wolfy, foxy art piece and then he's got his bathroom that's been tagged apparently and then over here we have the girls' rooms so over here is rose's area i imagine her going to the store and buying a bunch of faint greenery because she's like underground so she's kind of like missing the outdoors a little bit which might mean that by the time it's time for her to move out on her own she's gonna be going somewhere that maybe like headford on bagley that you know she wants to be outside now that she's underneath a bunker it might motivate her to want to be out there she's got her little desk over here. Her postcard collection's obviously still here. We got a little reading nook for her with some books. And then over here, we have Briar's room. Briar has kind of like a hangout space for her and her like friends and her boyfriend to hang out and her sister. She's got like a new iPad for some gaming. And then of course we have her gaming stream set up in case she just starts streaming from her house. And he's got like this nice mirror. And then in the back here, they have their bathroom. It's the same bathroom as their dad, but it looks kind of like maybe they painted some things or adjusted some of the tile. Obviously he spared no expense for the girls, but for himself, he likes to keep playing, which is our boy. And we still have 16,000 simoleons left over, which is a good little nest egg for the girls when they eventually move out. We do have work in two days. So I'm going to call and like quit our job and find a new job. Maybe we'll negotiate a bonus really fast because he wants to go to work ready for new challenges. He's got a fear of a dead end job. Yes, oh my gosh, we got our bonus here. So it looks like Fox called in and asked for a cash bonus and then he's gonna quit and he's gonna find a new job.
job. But since we did graduate college, we actually have another career that we would like be a higher level at. So that's why I was thinking he'd go into interstellar smuggling. So I'm gonna have him join that. He's gonna be a moon mercenary. So he's going to be quitting his current position of the boss and accepting this. So he's running away from his old job and they're in hiding now. He quit his boss job at Mob Wives and he's decided it's time for a new direction career-wise. Got a signing bonus of 4,000 simoleons due to his degree in the field. And now we are a moon mercenary, which what, what does that mean? Interstellar smuggler. So we're level eight already. Any ranger who's quick with a laser can make some simoleons in private security than serving the public good. Fox protects the galactic warlords, exterminates cabals of tribal terrorists, and helps corrupt governments maintain plausible deniability. And he's gonna coast a little bit, I think, from work from now on, because he doesn't want to stand out. He doesn't want to do too much. So I'm really liking this new direction of the story. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We're gonna modify him next and cast and give our fox a little more older makeover. He's an older, more mature guy. And he has this one as kind of an everyday look. I think we might make it a little more casual now that he's not the crime boss. I do like this one still though. So here's our Foxberry. He's got a bit of a makeover. Here's his kind of main outfit. We changed up his hair a bit to kind of more relaxed looking style. Here, this is every day. I'm also just gonna like give him a tiny bit of adjustment with his skin details to make him look a little older. Yeah, we'll do that. He's just looking a little bit older. Actually, it really suits him. He looks very handsome. Got a bit more of a distinguished face now. I love it. Oh my gosh. I like hardly ever age my sim, so I'm trying my best right now. <laughs> right, and we're downstairs. It is a Tuesday and they do need to do their homework. Oh, she's too tense. Why don't you read something? It'll help you de-stress because you love reading. She's gonna sit with her sister on her sister's side of the room. Aw, this is so cute. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with their house. They're already listening to tunes. They feel very much like teens right now in their big old angry room. I mean, this house is cool, okay? This bunker is banging. Oh, look at him. He's in here with them. Like, hey, it's your dad. And her fun's going up because she's reading. So that's cute. Oh, Briar's decided to take a nap. Why don't you go to sleep, sweetie? You're gonna go all the way to sleep here. Rose is feeling better. Okay, Rose, why don't you do your homework? But she's chatting with her dad. Oh no, it's an unpleasant conversation. Dad, why don't you smooth apology and help her with her homework. She forgave you. Okay, good. I'm glad he said I'm sorry. She's still got some festering bitterness from being around him, but she's feeling good. Nice and focused from working on her homework here. I can't believe Briar's sleeping at 6 p.m. Like Briar, it's so early. I think you should probably wake up and do your homework too. He's really trying to be helpful, but I don't know if it is being very helpful. Rose's homework is complete. Good job, Rose. Why don't you help your other daughter now? with homework. And now Rose, since you're doing fine, why don't you work on another book? Oh, resume writing with you in my arms. We haven't finished that yet. We gotta write five good books. So she's gonna go write a little bit. She wants to finish writing a book and finish reading a book. Fox wants to make another sim angry or eat food. Well, why don't you eat food? She's listening to some tunes while she writes. Oh, I love that. So cute. Briar's doing a great job. No one else is going to be home tonight. Let's chill. No, oh my gosh. I think she wanted us to sneak out to hang out with her. But Briar's like, I can't sneak out tonight. I'm like, it's our first night in the bunker. All right, why don't we work on playing some games here? Let's enter a novice tournament. <gasps> school is stupid. I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? He'd be like, society requires schools for success. 100% he'd say something like that. But I feel like Briar might want to start looking into some of business things of her own. Maybe some after school activities. Let's see. So she's gonna find a job because she's been gaming for a long time. I love them in their room. They feel like such teens with this like loud music and everything. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. She's gonna become a video game streamer. Playing video games are fun and profit be a video game streamer where sick moves and comedy basic combine. And you are the star of the virtual show. I haven't done this before and I've been wanting her to do it for a while. So I think it's time. And we'll do morning before school. And her sim YouTuber avatar is gonna be, I think this one looks like her. Briar is now a speedrunner at Streamer Cooperative. She starts Thursday at 5.30. And yeah, we're gonna jumpstart our little assignment here for our streamer work. Reach level four of the entrepreneur skill. Talk to a friend about side hustles. Oh, I love that dad's also in here too, chatting with us. 
Dad, uh, don't you have your own thing to do? He's gonna go watch some TV in the other room. I love the living room. I just love this whole house. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's doing such a good job. Briar. Okay, I think you need to like change your outfit though. Let's see if she wins this tournament. I hope she does. Oh, she got in second. A little more practice, she'll be sure to win next time. That's awesome. Let's have a deep conversation with our sister and we need to tell her about our new side hustle. Okay, perfect. We've talked to our friend about our side hustle and now we're tired. But meanwhile, Rose is hard at work finishing up her skill. She's got some fast internet. No lag here. The connection is good. So Sims are pumped to do more. Apparently that's gonna help with her writing skill. What an accomplishment. Rose finished an entire book. Oh my gosh. Did it count towards her goal? It did. Okay, we have one book down. Amazing. She's gonna go ask her dad for advice now. And I think it's time to go to bed. It's 11, but we have one book down. We have four to go. And she's actually an entrepreneur herself. I love that. One's a little writer, one's a little gamer. I would like to adult now. I feel like I'm old enough that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want and do whatever I want. Rose is like, I'm feeling independent, okay? I wanna get out of here. Can you treat me like an adult? And he'll be like, you know what? Not until you've grown more. You're still not quite an adult there, darling. Maybe apologize about some of the issues you guys have been having. And why don't you come for him? Ask about his day. It looks like he's like sad about something. I don't know why our dad is sad. We discuss his sad mood. Oh, he's telling her about his sad mood. The fox has reached level eight of the parenting skill and he went to bed. So we got Rose here and grab some food. She is very inspired and just finished up her food. But I think she should go to sleep now. It's time. And everyone is now asleep in the house. I like this house. I like how it's organized. I like how big the rooms are so I can like be inside them easier. And Briar's got a good reputation. And Johnny and her just became friends. Did Johnny text her? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, I think he did. What's up, buddy? Oh my gosh. Let's text Johnny a little flirty message. Rose is feeling distant and will prefer to be alone for a while. I think she's not having a good time with the move, you know? She didn't love the fact that they had to move here. They're taking care of their needs. It's Wednesday morning, getting ready for school today. Oh, she's thinking about Johnny when she wanted to do cloud gaze with Johnny. That's so cute. Oh, and they've got a mouse, of course. I couldn't let them move without having mice. She's taking a nice shower, singing it in the shower, having a good day. I think the girls are excited for their new day at school. Write some short stories. We could do that. So far we have one, two books here to publish. As you guys said, we're gonna save them. I feel like we're gonna go to school pretty soon. She's gonna do extra credit work, chat with her sister. Cuties. You know what? Let's send them alone. We'll be more dealing with like their after school activities here. Okay, so the girls are at school. We're gonna have them study hard. And Fox is asleep. He's got work in eight hours. I'm shocked that nobody is like texted him or asked him out. Like, I thought maybe like we would hear more from Roman, but we haven't heard anything from Roman, which is such a shame. Oh, someone's calling. Rose tried to skip out on class today. She's really going through a phase right now. She's being a little honorary. To comfort a crying friend, Never mind. <laughs> I thought for a second, I was like, wow, out of character, Rose. And they're like, never mind, right in character. He's not a rules follower. He'd be like, eh, healthy friends comes first. Responsibility fell out of range to return the responsible trait. Oh no, his advice made her a little less responsible, but that's okay, because we can work back up there. SDT scores. Rose just got the results from her SDT success determination test. Her scores aren't quite as high as she hoped they would be. Should she shine up to retake the test or should she be happy with the test she has? Oh, she'd retake it again, for sure. All high achievers take the test at least twice, some five or six times. Rose is confident she'll get the results she wants eventually. That's great. Oh, wow, he just keeps eating like pieces of bread. Well, now what? All of his needs are pretty much chill and he's a little flirty. Oh, okay. Is there anything going on outside our house? I mean, I don't really want to deal with the like possessed people in this area of town. Yep, there they are. Although that possessed person is pretty cute. Who is this? I love this outfit. Oh God, okay. Kali Paioa. Cute, okay. Well, there's like new people. I mean, he could go to the bar. Is this the bar? Yeah, he's gonna go visit the bar just because he can. You know, he's, he's new in town. Might as well go check out the local establishments. See if maybe he runs into any old friends or any future friends. All right, here we are. We're feeling super flirty. We want to become angry or have a drink. Let's have a drink. Order his favorite drink. Isn't it wine? I think it is. Wait, oh my God, it's his sister. Honestly, maybe we should modify the family in Kaz now that we see him because they're a little older and I feel like Violet it looks still like a teenager. Yeah, it, even Indy still looks like a teen and he's a full adult. He's not even a young adult anymore. So I feel like we should maybe adjust some of these 
skin details for these Sims. Give them, you know, like a little bit of a older look to them. I wanna give them like an athletic look, but like a little bit more adult. There you go, there's upgraded indie. Oh my gosh, Violet. Violet's so pretty. I can't believe they're all getting older. Yeah, I think that she needs maybe a different hairstyle than, than the one she's been rocking for a, a minute here with the buns. I think it's time for her to have just something else. I think that one looks good. And then we'll do maybe just like a dress or some sort, maybe. All right, so here is updated Slate and Reed, Indy and Violet. All the siblings are looking A+. plus. They're all looking great. I realize they like weren't aging, but they're still like around. So definitely needed to give them a little age ups here. All right, so we here. And so is Violet. Let's go say hi to Violet. Ah, Violet, where are you going? Go ask her to hang out with you. Violet, come back. Where'd she go? Okay, well, Violet was here and then she left. All that makeover for nothing, but it's fine. He's getting a drink. He wants to make an enemy. We're gonna talk to the bartender at this drink. Be like, hey, what's up? I'm new in town. Support his facial hair. It looks great. He's feeling happy because he's near misery. I don't know who is miserable, but and someone is also good, which is bugging him. Dance to stereo music. Let's play some stereo music. Let's turn on some Americana and we'll dance a bit. Oh yeah, this is weird that he's dancing at this bar where everyone's just sitting down and drinking, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, lots of military in this bar here. Very popular hangout spot. Maybe we should go, you know, maybe we should go. I think there's a bit too many military people at this bar for his liking. We do not need to be here with all the military. We might want to just walk home. Oh God, I have to walk by Kaylee, who's clearly possessed. Don't make eye contact, okay? Don't make eye contact. I love that we can see from here our house out in the middle of nowhere. Everyone's gonna be like, where'd you live? He's like, nowhere. Don't worry about it. Oh, the girls returned home from school and Briar grades are up. Good job, Briar. Oh my gosh, she's an A student now? Just like her sister. Oh, he's now really angry. He was like, those military personnel really got under my skin. I'm not feeling comfortable around them. So don't blame him. He is in hiding and is a criminal still. So you've got work in like a 50 minutes. So I think you need to try to calm yourself down down for work. Briar's feeling great though. Briar, why don't you choose a SimTuber avatar? Check our followers. Let's live stream Sims. Oh, 12. Oh, our entrepreneur skill is started. Okay, great. So I think by streaming, we're doing our skill, which is good. So she's streaming a bit versus dad is with us and, and he's making us tense. I need to escape this family, she says. But dad's going to work. Bye dad. Good luck at your new job. I love the orange helmet. You're crushing it. I love that his nail polish is still there on top of his gloves. Really makes the outfit. I appreciate it. Woo! Successful stream. Briar gained four dollars. Good job, Briar. And she's level one of the entrepreneur skills. Why don't you eat something and then we're gonna have you do your homework. Both of the girls are crushing it. They're like kind of little home bodies now, which is cute and sad. She's feeling tense. You could read a book on the wellness. Yeah, why don't you read your wellness book? That'll help her. Woo! Ooh, yay, our responsibility went back up for Rose. That's good, see? Doing some homework helps. She's gonna sit with her sister to read the book. I love that they're a little underground bunker. No one would know they're under here. She finished another thing. She wants to level up her writing skill and finish writing a book. We need to go out with like Briar's boyfriend. Maybe after she finishes up her homework, she really wants to cloud gaze with Johnny. And I feel like they'd have to like kind of sneak out to go hang out with Johnny. I'm gonna change her into her clothes and then we're gonna go out, okay? We're gonna go hang out with her boyfriend at a tea shop. We're gonna sneak out. My sister's gonna come with me. It's gonna be great. Oh, dad's home. Dang it. I guess dad will know that we're going out. We're gonna travel somewhere with our sister and Johnny, our boyfriend. We're gonna go out and maybe, you know, maybe like my girl Rose will get another crush or maybe she's just gonna be unflirty in person. She's gonna be like, I can't, I can't do it again. We're gonna go to Copperdale. We're gonna go to the thrift tea store. Perfect, we're here. I also feel like Rose should become friends with Johnny. She hasn't even met him. So Rose, why don't you go meet Johnny? She's like, I'd rather go thrifting. Oh, they're so so cute, they're so flirty. Such a third wheel, poor Rose over here. Just like, um, hi. She's trying to talk to them, but honestly, she's just like, I'm gonna go inside. Ooh, this Sim is kind of cute. Who's this? She looks sad. Let's uh, have a friendly introduction. I didn't mean to do this, but it is very funny that that Rose immediately gravitates towards blonde, sad girls. But tell her a heartfelt compliment, Hannah Kalani. She's very sad. Why don't you brighten her day? Console about death. Oh, someone in her family 
Emily probably died recently. Compliment her outfit. Be like, your outfit looks really cool. It's a lot of colors. Ask about her favorite author. Be like, do you have a favorite author? I love to write and read. Complain about your parent to Hannah. I feel like you could be like, ugh. So what are your parents like? Because my dad just moved us and it sucks. We actually got along really well with Hannah pretty quickly. Maybe Hannah could be a friend. We don't really have any friends. All right, let's have Hannah and we'll send her like a funny message. There we go. Now we're friends on Social Bunny with Hannah. We Honestly, she should become friends on Social Bunny with Johnny as well. There we have it. And then we can send him like a friendly message. We can try to become better friends with him. It is 11, so it is getting kind of late. Why don't we brighten Johnny's day? Try to get to know him a little bit at least. The girl that we were becoming friends with that was sad kind of left, but it's okay. We're chatting with our sister. She's carefully checking some fashion looks over here. Briar's eating like a burger. They're having a good time. It's almost midnight though, so I think the girl should probably get going. You know, Johnny and Briar had a good time together. Rose made a new friend, which was good, and she got to know Johnny a little bit. She hadn't met him yet, so. We're going back to bed. Fox is here, and we'll wake up in like a couple hours. Briar, we are going to work from home. So wake up, Briar. We got some work from home. Briar, wake up. You're working now. Go take a shower. Let's uh, live stream Crypt Creek for, and we're gonna advertise our side hustle online as well. All right, she's working on getting up there on her entrepreneur level, and we're working on gaming. So that's kind of nice doing both at once. And she's streaming. This is so cute. I love her little streaming set up. All right, we got school in about an hour for the girlies. Time to wake up, get some food. Woo! Briar's now video gaming level six. Good job, Briar. And she gained 12 new followers. Excellent job. I'm gonna send them all alone again today. All right, go to high school, sweet, sweet Briar. So she streamed for a little bit this morning. She's feeling very flirty from anticipating a romantic holiday. Is that tomorrow? Tomorrow is love day. Well, she's definitely gonna have to love day plans with her beau, but I wonder what Rose is gonna do for love day. Maybe she'll want to spend love day as a friend with someone instead of as a romantic interest. Or maybe she'll just spend love day like writing romance novels and being like, I don't want to be dealing with real people, okay? Real people can break your heart. Rose was an extremely important test coming up, but school has been so busy lately. She can drink a ton of cola and cram right up to the test or she should find some light activity. I think she she's very mental health advocate, so I think she'd do some light activity. Rose has been really working hard in school a few minutes into giving her brain a quick rest. She falls asleep. The slap of papers on her desk jolts her weight with a short time later. Test time already? Oh no. Okay, well, I hope nothing's too bad there. Ooh. Oh, Briar invite over classmate Sydney. Yes, okay. Sydney Price is coming over. Apparently now it's kind of okay. They're both A students, but now they've got, you know, their friend Sydney to come over, which is fun. Invite him in. Be like, hey, come on in the house. Please don't judge the house. It looks a little sketchy from the top, but we promise it's great. Dad's downstairs. He's probably like, mm, I don't know if I wanted you to invite Sydney over, but it's fine. Sydney, come downstairs. It's all chill down here. Rose is taking her after school shower. She's really tired from waking up so early to stream. So we're gonna have her nap a little bit. Most guided meditation. Maybe Sydney will meditate with her. That'd be so cute. Come on, Sydney, come meditate with us. Miss Sydney has decided not to do so. All right, fair enough. We're just gonna meditate ourselves. It does not help her fun. Okay, never mind. What about writing? Check for some pen pal replies. I'm sure we'll have a new pen pal by now. No new pen pal replies? She seems like annoyed. So let's find a pen pal. How posh, it looks like I've got a new pen pal from Bridgeport. Oh, we don't have Bridgeport yet. We've got Midnight Hollow and Riverview. Okay, perfect. We're gonna write a ledger to Bridgeport now. Okay, and what's Briar up to? Briar's just chilling with the guys. She's a little tired. Let's go nap in dad's bed because our sister's so tense. She's probably gonna be like, it's fine. I'll let my sister kind of work on her stuff instead of <laughs> stressing over it. So we're going to have her write another book. This is gonna be called Love Dumb, a book of short stories. Oh, she loves summer strut music. Cute. I'm happy for her. She's having a really good mood right now. She really needed this. Briar's having a nice nap, and it looks like Sydney Price is hanging out with our dad, so that's fun. I feel like Briar normally would be a better host, but she's like probably tired. Let's gossip with Sydney and discuss some games and stuff. Maybe we'll play some games. They're all socializing together, while of course Rose is on her own, listening to music and 
writing our books. Oh, it looks like he might be going. All right, Sydney. Please don't notify anyone of our presence here. You're now sworn to secrecy. Bye, Sydney. Hope you had fun visiting. Meanwhile, our sweet writer over here, Rose, is having the time of her life writing her book. And Briar is feeling pretty good playing with dad. She's enjoying herself. We didn't get to finish our like work thing for today. She's pretty tired, but she's going to stream one more time and then she's going to go to bed. Cuties. I love that they're both getting into their things. Like Rose is writing her novels and Briar's streaming. It's just so perfect. Also, I feel like these two girls are like two halves of my heart. Like I am definitely a Rose for sure in terms of like her style, loving pink and being a bit of a soft girl and liking writing. And also I'm very liked Briar and I stream and do gaming and stuff, but it's time to go to bed. Briar is exhausted. Ooh, Rose can now write screenplays. That's really exciting, Rose. Oh my God, she's getting in a fight again with her dad. He said something that ticked her off a little bit. <laughs> Maybe commented on how often she's inside. And she's like, um, we're inside because of you. We wrote in our second book, two out of five. She's gonna grow up a little snack and now she's tired. So she's gonna maybe go to bed. All right, good night, night dad. He's just chilling, feeling confident. But why don't you go to sleep there, Fox? Excellent, and everyone's asleep now in the house. And tomorrow's gonna be love day, which is gonna be a big old mess, I think, considering Briar definitely has a love day date and Rose does it and Rose cares more about it. Well, it's time to work for her. So she's gonna go use the bathroom and get food. Oh, she's feeling flirty though. Prepping for a romance. She's so excited about the holiday. Okay, she's going to work today. So she's physically going into work. I don't know what that means, but she's gonna go do the job, which is great. Girly, are you late? How late are you? Yeah, you're 30 minutes late to work. Oh God, okay. We're gonna work hard. Leaving, of course, dad and Rose alone, but maybe Rose will, you know, write some social bunny messages. Maybe she's got some new ones. Hannah, oh, oh. Not even a cow plate wants to be around you, Rose. Not again, not a mean blonde again. Not a mean, sad blonde. Are you kidding me? I thought Hannah might be nice. Oh my gosh, Rose has terrible choice. Okay, well, we're not gonna go for Hannah anymore. Maybe we should send something nice to Johnny. And Briar said, hey, bestie, hope you're you're having a truly excellent day. Thank you, Briar. I love you, my sister. And then I guess we'll send a message to Sydney. Sydney's nice. Sydney's like our friend. Poor, poor sweet Rose. Burned again. No wonder she's tense. She's embarrassed from a social bunny post. Oh my gosh, she was like teasing her again and she hated it. She's like, dad, I don't like it when you do that. And it's love day and it's a Friday morning. Poor baby. She's shouting forbidden words in the bathroom. Oh my goodness, poor girl. Why don't we write our screenplay now? Work on our screenplay before our school today. She didn't do her homework, but she is an A student, so it's not that big of a deal. All right, our screenplay will be called Tough Love. And it's gonna be a screenplay about romance. I think she's in her era of of like writing like angsty stuff about romance. I think she'll write the cuter stuff about romance when she gets a little older. Oh, she got some work done. Good job, Briar. God, the girl in the background is so scary. Okay, it's time to take them to school on love day. I keep trying, honestly. I thought maybe Hannah might be a good like second try at a crush for my sweet angel rose, but no, no, Hannah's also mean. Boy, she can pick them. Yeah, I don't really see any new students for her to become friends with. So I think she's just gonna go downstairs and maybe work on her novel while she's waiting. Oh, there's some other kids down here. He's in Christine Petrish May and Ty Archia, who I'd say is very cute, but I don't think it's Rose's type. Resume writing tough love. We're gonna go resume our writing of tough love because she's just like not feeling being at school. And that is kind of where she shines is writing. See, already happy, happy, great tunes. I love writing. You know, she's not worrying about her embarrassment when she's writing. She's just happy. Briar, meanwhile, taking a quick little shower before school starts, working on her needs. Oh, time for school. Okay, gotta get ready for class. Briar, you too. I think it is also exam day, which is great. Here she is. They're both in class together. I also think she, she was up for like an award. I feel like Rose didn't get it because we never heard about it. So maybe that's another reason why Rose is like loving writing books, but not really thinking she'd be any good at it. She's like, you know, it's not practical to write books for a living. And just her hobby is gonna be writing. She'll just write all her books for her. And meanwhile, Briar is like hustling. She 
she's like a little entrepreneur queen. Okay, we got lunch here. Yeah, she's gonna eat her lunch really quick. Rose is gonna go get food. This is like, school is so awkward now. I feel like Donna must have graduated. She's like not in school right now. We're gonna sit with Carmelo Scott. Hi, Carmelo. Let's do a funny introduction to you. You know, try to chat with somebody here. Briar is hanging out. She wants to study for exams. So why don't you study a little bit while you're sitting here? She's found another <laughs> sad student. Oh my gosh. Rose, stop finding random sad people to talk about. Share love day excitement though. That'd be cute. I feel like Briar needs some love day stuff. She wants to get in the romantic spirit and go on a date. Okay, so she's gonna go on a date after school, I think, with Johnny. I'm gonna send Johnny like some cute little like flirty messages. Oh, it looks like Stacy wants to be our friend. So let's be friends with Stacy and Gavin. Briar has a couple little friends here with Stacy and Gavin and Johnny versus Rose is friends with Sydney and Donna. And that's really it. Wow, you found two different sad people, which it's not hard to find a sad person because people's relatives are dying a lot after seven generations, but it is what it is. I can't believe we're seven generations away from Mitt and Raphael. My babies! Rose has her family. Oh, it's gonna be great. I just want Rose to be happy and be the love of her life. Time first class, girls. Gotta take your next exam here. I love how Donna's just MIA, has not spoken to us since we've apparently gotten over her. Like, interesting here. Okay, difficult problem. The computer science question is a two-parter. First, it asks to write your name in binary. Then it asks you to write a program to convert every name and the program is given into a binary. This does not sound up Rose's alley at all. She doesn't have a programming skill, so she's gonna wing it. Rose trusted in fate to deliver her an answer to this tough exam question, but fate failed her. Staring at her finished answer, Rose knows she's going no chance of being right. Oh. Meanwhile, I feel like this is exactly the exam that our girl Briar was built for. Oh, but they both aced their exams. Great job girls. Oh my gosh. Even though Rose struggled with it a little bit, it seems like she's good to go. All right. Rose is going to go home and I feel like we should ask Johnny out on a date for love day and just have like a little romantic date night. I think we're going to go to the park so we can kind of go to the pier for their date. I think that'll be a cute date spot. But look at these two. Let's kiss his cheek. Sarah's some love day excitement. Blow him a kiss. Embrace race him, hold oh, his yeah, hands. Just perfect love day thing. Arm. Let's see what we got here. We gotta sit and talk to our date, kiss our date, to attempt to seduce our date. Let's go sit and talk here. So we're gonna go sit together on the pier. Come on, Johnny, let's go. We're going through the park together. I wish they could hold hands and walk. That would be so cute if they could hold hands on their date and walk around. Sit together and then like whisper sweet nothings in his ear. Give him like a little kiss and stuff. Yeah, they're chatting and things like that. Spread the word on her side hustles. Tell them about her Twitch streaming. Oh, they're so romantic. And then they definitely got to take a flirty photo together. And then she's going to attempt to seduce him. They're going to take a flirty photo and then they're going to mess around in the photo booth. She's going to be like, oh, hey, you like all that I got to offer, Johnny? Why don't we go mess around a little bit in the photo booth? This is so cute. She's a little tired at 6 p.m. because of her early morning work stuff, but she's like, come Come on in, Johnny. Oh, oh my gosh. I have not seen this animation yet. The music is even different. Oh my gosh. It's taking photos? This is too funny. Okay, well, now they're gonna take their flirty photos together and then we'll hop back over to poor Rose who is no love day person. Not that there's anything wrong with not having a love day date and now they're like stargazing. That's cute. All right, so I'm gonna leave them on their date and I'm gonna switch control to Rose who is back at home without a love day date. But I'm sure she'll have a really good love day date someday. It's not today, but she's having a good love day date by herself. Okay, so we're back. It is love day and we're chilling by ourselves. She doesn't really care about doing any of these things. She could give her dad a love day flower and that sounds like something she'd do. So purchase gifts, let's get a, like a flower, like a little rose and give it to her dad. So she's gonna give him a love day gift of a rose and he's gonna <laughs> give her a love day gift of a rose so that they're all, you know, they're, this is very sweet father-daughter love Love day. She's like, here you go, dad. He's like, oh, thank you, daughter. He loved it. That's so sweet. 
and he's gonna give her a love day gift of a rose as well. And she's probably gonna love that. Aw, she's like, yay, thanks, Dad. They're having a nice little love day together. Maybe they could watch a movie together. Okay, let's watch Diamonds Are For Sims with Foxberry. I feel like that's definitely a romantic comedy movie that Rose would like. And she's gonna watch it with Dad and celebrate love day together. This is cute, look at them. They're like having their own father-daughter love day. No, is the, is the rat out? Yep, the rat's out. Kind of ruining their love day moment here. She's like, the writing's not very good in this movie. I could probably write a better one. And he's like, you know what? I haven't been that interested in love in a while. He's like chatting about it. And she's like, oh, well, that's the thing that I'm super into, dad. They're having some good combos. Aw, she's very happy. She's having a good time with her dad. Dad, do you want to serve the dinner here? Why don't you... Ooh, cook together with Rose. Yeah, they should cook together. They're gonna make vegetable dumplings. That sounds delicious. Let's make vegetable dumplings with Rose. All right, so him and Rose are cooking together. They needed this quality time, I think, because she's been kind of like feeling a little bit disconnected from her dad lately. So this was meant to be. And also Rose didn't know how to cook before, so her dad's teaching her. So cute. I love a bit of quality time between these two. Oh, and look who's home. It's Briar, who's very tired. Briar had a good day with her boyfriend. She had a nice little date. She just got home and went to bed. Dad just went to bed, so it's just kind of rose up now, hanging out. We've got a new pen pal from Little Haven. Oh, exciting. Okay, so we have two pen pals. Let's write a letter to Little Haven, and then we can ask for a postcard from Bridgeport, which we don't have yet. We're gonna maybe resume writing tough love. There we go. It looks also like maybe someone sent something on social bunny. Follow account and you're at the same, a big zero. Hannah, I don't know why you're bullying me. We just met and you're such a brat. We should get together and hang sometime. You know what, Alex? Maybe we should. Love day was awful but for Rose, but love day was fine for Briar. Oh, I'm sorry that our love day was awful. I thought it was a good love day with dad. I thought that was a cute love day. She's staying up late working on her stuff here. Oh my gosh, is she going through a, a mood swing or a phase. Oh, she's mortified. Oh no. All right. Why don't you finish working on your screenplay and go to bed? Okay. I think it's time and everyone's going to get a good night's rest. And I think I'm going to leave this here. Poor Rose is mortified. I feel like she's feeling insecure about her writing and the fact that she didn't have a love day date. And Briar, you know, is kind of moving on. She's got a boyfriend. She's got a new career. And Rose is like, I don't know what's going on with me. So hopefully we'll start finding someone new in her life later. I feel like she'll fall in love when she's a young adult. I think that she might just go through a lot of different people as a teen unsure of what she wants, but I do know what I want. So I want you guys to start building some Sims for Rose for her end game. Put them on the gallery using hashtag Kelsey not so I was specifically looking for a trans woman for Rose to fall in love with, someone that can get Rose pregnant. So make sure to add those to the gallery. I can't wait to have them in my game. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye.